What's up? I'm Mike Martin. This is my wife, Kat. What we wanted to do is, is really just come in here and share with you what really, you know, helped our success and really t took our success, you know, to the next level. And, you know, it's not technical <laughs> and it's, you know, it's not like this, this huge thing that you think, right? It's actually super simple, right? Super simple stuff. Yeah, basically what changed everything for us is when we became aware of our mentality, uh, whether it was an abundant mentality or lack mentality, because when you have an abundant mentality, you're looking for what is right rather than what is wrong. And we all know these types of people that, and we may know them personally, um, as in friends or family, and we may know them intimately within ourselves. But when we all go into a situation or an environment where 90% of everything is right and one thing goes wrong, um, and that's that one thing that disrupts the vibration that we focus on, and in turn, that shifts our vibrational energies and really creates this negative environment for ourselves, this negative um, connection, and it attracts the wrong things. So with the law of attraction, like we all know, what we put our attention to is what grows, it's what flows. So um, simply put, watch where your watch where your thoughts are going, watch where you're uh, putting your focus on because you can control what's coming into you and what's going out simply by being more positive, simply by focusing on what is good. And being positive doesn't mean that you think everything's gonna go right. It means that you find the right in all of the wrong. Um. Yeah, <laughs> that was a huge factor, you know, for me as well, right? Because, you know, when I got into this business, you know, I didn't notice how negative a person I really was, right? Mm -hmm. Or that I was constantly, you know, destroying my days or, you know, all those types of things, right? Um, I only knew one thing and that was, you know, cause I've been in sales for 19 plus years, 20 years, it was hustle, right? And I didn't really understand, you know, these things, right? I didn't, I didn't really tap into this kind of stuff till like, you know, farther down into my business. And it was just like, wow, it was, you know, a big game changer for me. Yeah. So when you can understand that you can create your reality, you can create your day simply by the way that I, my mom actually has a sign in her house. Uh, your day will turn the, the way this, the way the corners of your mouth will turn. So if they're smiling, your day will go great. If they're frowning, your day is obviously going to go downhill from there. Yeah. So, um, it's a simple concept, but it starts with three simple steps. And the first one is awareness. Every single day, you should be looking at your thoughts. You should be coming aware of what you're thinking of and where your focus is going. And um, maybe even set a timer on your phone for every couple of hours to just check in. Where's my focus lying? And you will soon realize where the patterns are and where you could be focusing more on what's actually going right in your world, your children's laughter, the moments, of memories, your friends, the sunshine, all those things. Um, and once you start doing that, that's when the collection of positive energies will grow mm -hmm. rather than the negative ones. Yeah, and write down what what you're focused on, yeah. right? Like what was Kat just said, right? But really like, you know, tap into in that moment, like what you're focused on, right? whether it be business, whether it be personal, right? It really doesn't doesn't matter. And for me, it was like, this helped a lot too, right? Is getting rid of all those negative thoughts, right? And just writing it all down, writing it all down and getting rid of it. And, and when you actually write it down and look at it, you think like, wow, that's silly. Like, why was this disrupting my day or why was this disrupting my week? So focus on, you know, what what's in that present, what you have to do you know, every single day inside your business, right? So. Yeah, and it, simply put, it's like, when you're writing down what you want to focus on, and this isn't want as in what you desire, it's yeah. want as in what is already around you that you that is good, that you could focus on. When you have that written on paper and you put it somewhere like the fridge or in your bathroom mirror or somewhere, 
and you have a reminder of what you want to be focusing on, then when you look back on you know the days that you became aware of your thoughts, you can compare. Mm -hmm. And that's what step three is, is really just have that comparison and a realization like, okay, this is where my thoughts take me every single day. This is what I want to focus on. How can I catch myself? How can I quickly change that focus, that perspective, and change it into something that I truly do desire? Because I will tell you this, if you can set goals with intent, and intent being emotion, if you can set goals with that, any goal is attainable, but most goals are set out of lack. And when we set goals out of lack, they're very hard to obtain or achieve because you are no longer striving or you're striving for something that you don't have, you're using it as a negative connotation, rather than being already happy with what you have and accepting more. Yeah, like a great example of that is, say you wanna do a $10,000 a month, right? And you just write, I wanna do, you know, I'm going to do a $10,000 a month this month, I'm gonna do a $10,000, I'm gonna do, you know, and you constantly write that down, right? But think about this for an instance, right? It's already in your account. You know, let's take you there, right? It just got deposited into your account, right? You just hit your ten thousand dollar month. What are you doing with it? You know, are you put you're putting it, you know, putting some back into your ads, but like how is it making you feel it, right? Because that was a big thing, putting putting it back into your business. But you know, with everything else, like, you know, those bills you got to pay off, right? Those those bills that were always constantly haunting you. Or, you know, you know, maybe you went out on a special date with your, you know, wife or fiance or girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever it is, or maybe you took your kids out on a special date as well. Like knowing on how that is actually making you feel like in that present moment. Yeah, it's really about if you want to to achieve a big financial goal, take yourself to that place. Focus on how it makes you feel, what kind of person you are now. Do you feel more accomplished? Do you feel more successful, confident? You need to take those feelings and live them right now because those goals will become more obtained mm -hmm. if you continue to live like um, what you want to become. If you can be it now, your goals will be so much more achievable and you will already be happy. And then when they happen, it'll just be like a bonus.